What's going on, folks? It's Cam Hillier from Miller's RV, and I'm standing in front of the Coachman Leprechaun 319 MB. So before we check out this awesome floor plan, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated and see all the latest and greatest. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to point out is the side view cameras. So big fan of having side view cameras. They're not, you know, you might have some, you know, big tough guy coming. I don't need side view cameras. I don't need that. Well, whether you need them or not, they're really cool to have and they make everything easier to drive, especially whenever you're a beginner. So there's no shame in asking for side view cameras, saying that you want side view cameras. When you're driving something that's more than 30 feet long, it's a great thing to have. So this does have side view cameras. It also has solid wheels here. So these are not hubcaps that are gonna fly off whenever you're on your way to Utah. These are, are actual rims. So I really, really like that. That is like a major plus for me. That is probably one of my favorite things just cause I don't like hubcaps. I don't like to replace hubcaps, it's annoying. So I like that. Also on the front of this front cap, it's got LED lights on it. I know it's a small thing, but it's actually a really nice aesthetic. It's nice when you're at the campground, kind of like just it has a nice vibe about it. It kind of matches with the uh, LEDs that you've got under this massive awning here. So I like that and also the front window that you have. I just, I like the natural look. It's kind of like a classic look for a Class C to have that window in the front. So big ups for those for me. So back towards this way, I'm going to open up this compartment so you can see the outdoor TV and entertainment center that it has. And guys, this awning is absolutely beautiful. Whenever you walk up to this Leprechaun with this full body paint and this big full length awning, you're going to be blown away. It's really a stunning visual. Guys, so this is our entertainment area here. So this is great when you're camping. You get to watch TV outside. And it doesn't have like your traditional outside speakers perhaps, per se, but it does have a sound bar here. So that's fantastic. You can do auxiliary, Bluetooth. You can go through the TV. You can do whatever you want. So big ups for that on me. Also, this is going to be a smart TV as well. Um, so I like that a lot. We're going to close this back. So you can see this beautiful, beautiful full body paint scheme that they have on the outside. So full body paint is really important to most folks, especially whenever you have brutal sun conditions like we do. Um, and also just, you know, the environment or, or the elements rather. Um, the full body paint is going to stay looking good a lot longer than what decals will. Now, that's not to say that if you have an RV with decals or you buy an RV with decals, you can't keep it looking good because you definitely can. It might just take a little more TLC than what it would with a, a full body paint. So. We're gonna move back towards here a little bit, show you a couple of storage compartments. Class C's on Ford to our own gas chassis are not known for having thin, like great outdoor storage, but this Murphy bed floor plan does allow you to have really, I guess it's not true Murphy bed, but this 319 MB lets you have really, really nice rear storage. So let's check that out. Guys, so whenever I was walking back to check out this rear storage apartment, I came across this. I didn't even know it had this, not gonna lie to you. Um, this is a little outdoor kitchen area, man. This is top notch. So sink here, I like. This, I'm guessing, is a table of sorts. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow. Uh, so you can adjust this leg. I'm not going to do that just for the video. But you can adjust this leg so this will be flat. Um, so whether you're at an angle um, or whatever you may have it, you can adjust this. Like I said, right now it's not. But... That is a lot of outdoor prep space. And then also, I don't know what this little rail does, but you've got another little rail right there too. Um, so wow, that's sweet. So that leads me to believe that this next compartment is actually home to a mini fridge. This is my guess. Let's see. Right on. So you got an outdoor fridge here. So you have the outdoor TV, huge awning. Outdoor cooking space, or I guess outdoor like prep space, because you've got the, the there propane. where you can set your grill on top of that outdoor table area. So you don't have to waste um, any storage by bringing one of your fold out picnic tables. You've got a table right here. So big time there. Also, outdoor kitchen area, or out, I'm sorry, outdoor refrigerator. That's nice little beer fridge there, um, or uh, you know, LaCroix for some of you out there. But that's cool. So let's swing around to the back. I want to show you this big time storage compartment out there. Okay, so in the back here, like I said, Class C's, gas Class C's are not known for having awesome outside storage. This is the exception. Check this out. I mean, this is absolutely massive. But you can fit a lot of stuff in here, all right, guys? You can literally put tubs and tubs of stinky slinkies, 
and other nice stuff in here. Yeah, you got a lot of space for this, guys. What I'm trying to say is this is a deep storage compartment. You can put tons of different things in there. You can also access this compartment from the driver's side as well. So that is a big plus. So on the driver's side, you've got your generator, a couple other small storage compartments, your propane tank. But for the most part, actually your propane tank is on the entry door side. But yeah, this is pretty run of the mill stuff. It's hot outside, so I want to show you what the inside of this coach has to offer. All right, guys, so I'm inside of the Leprechaun right now. This is the 319 MB. If you can't see that below, I can't help you much there. Uh, we're in the living area now, so to my right, this is a really top feature for the inside for me, are the electric recliners. Not only are these electric, but, sorry, I hit the wrong button. They're electric, they're heated, and, oh, that's nice, they're massage seats as well. So major, major comfortable here. Um, also, they've got really cool LED lights. If you're a light guy like me, you'll like that. Um, across from this is the TV. So this is a smart smart TV, 4K, Hisense TV. Um, it's got actually really good picture. The TV actually raises and lowers, um, so you can travel with it up, but if you just want more countertop space, you can actually lower that TV. Um, you might hear my voice vibrating, and that's because I have this massage seat on. But below the TV, you have some speakers, so that will help make it more of an immersive experience. And also, you have an electric fireplace below. I really like electric fireplaces because I feel like in most of the places I camp, it doesn't really get cold enough to use the gas furnace. Like the electric furnace is plenty for, for usually where I'm going to camp. So that's a big up for me. And also, if, if you don't really care for the heat it puts out, it looks really cool. It's a cool aesthetic. Uh, so this coachman also has two air conditions on it. So we've got them both going right now trying to cool this thing down. Um, but I want to point out to my right. This is a feature that I like, or I guess it's just more of like a cool thing. I like the, the see-through cabinets. I also like that they're lit inside, so you can see what's in there. If you don't want to see what's in there, you can just turn the light off. Simple as that. They've got a good bit of natural light in here. There's a huge window behind the TV. There's two windows in the slide-out that's right here. Um, and then also with the front window, I think it kind of just adds a whole vibe to it. Uh, so I'm going to flip around a little bit so you can see this U-shaped dinette that does double as a bed. Um, but before I do that, I do want to point out the bunk area here. This is a huge bed. You've got a ladder, and actually, this platform that rests right here already has a built-in net. So you can buckle your net right here, and even if no one's going to sleep up there. If you have people that sleep, that might roll. It keeps them from rolling off. But also, it's really good to put storage bins up there. They're not going to slide out and knock somebody out whenever you, you're... Your, your crazy dad jams on the accelerator when you're driving, right? Because my dad never did that. All right, guys, so I'm in the cockpit area now. These two captain's chairs do swivel. Um, don't ask me why I didn't swivel it. I just kind of sat down and we're shooting. Um, so these things do swivel. Uh, but I wanted to point out the radio here. So this is an aftermarket radio. Obviously, it doesn't. it's not something that comes with Ford. One thing I want to point out is the fact that you can tilt this. So that's a thing that I really like to see in RVs, especially when you have a bigger uh, display like this, because with so many lights, it's different than your car. You know, with a lot going on back here, it can make glares on the screen, which can be hard to see when you're looking at the GPS, um, or even just if you want to, uh, I mean, even just if you want to get a good look at it, the glares can be really annoying. So with this, you can tilt it either way. I really like that. You can do Apple CarPlay or Android uh, Auto, whatever you guys call it, on this. Also, you have a separate screen for your cameras. I absolutely love that. This is usually a feature that you don't see until you find like your high dollar class A's where you get two screens. The reason I like this, when you're on a trip, you have your GPS pulled up here. You can see the locations. Let's say there's an exit coming up. or uh, I mean, even I don't even need to give a specific scenario. It's just a good thing to have where you have GPS up here and you have your camera going here. So you can still see behind the RV. You can still see your side view cameras whenever you go change lanes, but it never takes away that GPS. So I really, really like that feature. And again, just to be clear, there does, this doesn't come with a program GPS. That's where you're going to use your CarPlay and Android Auto and stuff. But will you have, while you have your directions up, you can still see the camera. So that's a feature that I think is very important and pretty unique to a Class C. Um, so also, like I mentioned, both of these cast and shares do swivel around. Um, and also there's a little attachment that when they do swivel around or whenever they're facing this way, um, it adds basically more arm support right here that we'll show you in just a minute. 
So now let's go ahead and take a look at the living space and the kitchen area of this leprechaun. All right, guys, so we're at the kitchen area now. This AC is blowing pretty loud, so hopefully you can hear me well. Um, but we've got our three burner stove here. So this is a plus for me that's on this leprechaun, and maybe it's because we ordered the premium package. I don't really know. I did forget to point out this does have the Bigfoot leveling system on as well. So we've got the full body paint, the leveling system, and then this is a feature that, again, I don't know if it just comes with the premium, but it's a feature that I really like. You have your RV oven. You even have the dish storage here that kind of just, it's the same scheme, Magic Chef, as the rest of this. So you have your three burner cooktop. You have the RV oven. And also you have a convection. Typically, when you have an oven, you don't get a convection microwave. And typically, when you have a convection microwave, you don't get an oven. So to have both of those is really good because I think it fits. It, it basically, it's, it works for a lot more people because there are some people like, I don't need an oven, but the convection microwave is great. With this, you can do either or. You don't have to use the oven. You know, throw some books in there. That's probably not a good idea. But you could use it as storage if you didn't want. Ah, that's probably still not a good idea. Yeah, don't do that. But it's a nice feature to have both. So the sink here, I love the sink cover on this. They are absolutely solid. So it doesn't feel like some cheap sink cover. Like this, is, this has got some weight to it. It feels like something that's going to last and it's not going to break whenever, you know, my knucklehead friend puts his elbow through it or puts his elbow on it. So it is a single sink, not a double sink. I know some folks like it or like the double sink, but it is a really deep sink and it's very wide. So I do like that. I also like that the faucet head pulls out. It helps you to, you know, be able to wash dishes or, you know, spray people. That's always fun. Um, and there's actually a window behind this as well that I'm sure you can see that kind of just adds to the aesthetic of the whole coach. So I like the kitchen area on this. Everything's kind of like, I don't know, kind of like streamlined on this. You've got the TV here, and again, that will drop to give you more uh, countertop space. And then you've got all your little kitchen area here. Um, so also behind me, this is like the coolest fridge. If you watch any of these leprechaun videos you've seen, this fridge opens from both sides. So like, you know, you're cooking here, you got to grab some butter, boom, butter. You're in the shower, you got to grab a shower beer, open it from this side, shower beer. Okay. So not bad guys, really not bad. Um, also to the left of the microwave here, really deep cabinet. So this is great to store like your coffee pots or um, maybe even some spices or things like that since you don't have like a true spice cabinet and then also below the sink You've got a really nice set of cabinets, too. So a big like that um, I want to show you this dinette where you can actually uh, Like I said earlier, you can make it down to a bed as well. So I like that. Let's swing around. Hi right, guys So this is a dinette here. So it is u-shaped. There's a thing that I want to point out that I that I like um, I like that you have the curved cushions here. So instead of a cushion here and a cushion like that that makes a 90 degree angles where the two cushions meet instead it's curved here so yeah you might lose like a little bit of seating space the person sitting in the corner might have to sit a little closer but it's a lot more comfortable than just like sitting back in that corner also no cup holders on the table which it is very convenient to have cup holders on the table but that does allow for more room for you know car games or plates or stuff like that so it's got its good size and its bad size but you do have the cup holders right here so one cup holder here, one on the other cushion. Those are features that I really like. Um, this little, uh, I think we need to put some steam on this. This little window shade is kind of crispy, so I didn't want to push up all the way right. But big window here for a lot of natural light. And I forgot to even point out, in the kitchen area, I love that they do this on the leprechauns. There's like a little strip of LED lights that goes beneath the countertop that really just like, it, it just makes it look nice. Like I said, I'm a light guy, so I really, really like that, and I appreciate that. So I want to swing around and show you the split bath. I know a lot of you love the split bath. And then we'll show you the master bedroom as well. All right, guys. So I'm in the shower now. Um, as you can see, the tempered glass here. So I know some people prefer that over, like, the the sliding uh, mildew-free shower curtain. I, I really don't have a preference on either. But I do like um, just the look of this. It's not totally see-through. So if you do have, like, company over and for some reason someone opens the door to use the bathroom, they can't see into the shower. So that's good. Um, it adds a little bit of extra privacy. The shower itself is not huge. Um, if I'm standing facing north to south, it is a little tight. It's going to be a lot more comfortable if I'm this way. Um, definitely a one-person shower, uh, but it's yeah, it definitely it gets the job done. But it's, it's really not a huge shower. But it does. That's typically what you get when you have the split bath. So I want to rotate around here so you can see the bathroom because I think that's where the magic lies. Like I said, this is small, gets the job done. But the more comfortable sector is in the bathroom. So I also actually want to point out there's a skylight here. Not the tallest skylight in the world. That it's pretty normal for a Class C. But 
if you are, you know, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you'll probably get pretty close here, um, but you can still get the job done. Like I said, this, the faucet on this comes up high enough. So let's check out that bathroom. All right, guys, so I'm in the bathroom. Now, as I mentioned, it is a split bath. I do want to point out, because you might have questions like how this bathroom seals off. So the bathroom door closes this way and, and can attach to a magnet that seals it off from the bedroom. Um, but then the side that goes to, like the living area, there's actually a pocket door that you can close um, and it'll magnet right there. So that's a good thing. So you can actually have privacy um, or privacy, as you Brits like to say, in the bathroom area. Um, so vanity to my left, decent sized sink here, not too, too big, um, but it's, it's big enough where I'm not going to hit my knuckles whenever I'm washing my hands. So I like that. Um, to the left of the mirror, you've got a little bit of storage, good for probably toothpaste and small things like that, maybe body wash. You do have already a, uh, a little ring here to hang your hand towel. This little, uh, oh, nice lighting in here. Uh, the, the lighting above the mirror is not bad. And then you got your corner storage here. This is where you're going to put your toilet paper and other things. Um, underneath, you've got small storage here, not not huge. Um, and then here, and then like to the left below the sink, you do have a little bit of storage there. The only really complaint that I have about this bathroom, not really any great spot um, to put towels. Like I said, I guess you can go there. It's not huge. So that that's probably the only complaint that I have. Um, you do have a fan here that can help vent things out. So, and, and you even have a vent for the AC, which is nice. Now, I did want to point out this toilet uh, is a plastic toilet. Definitely not a deal breaker, but do want to point that out. Um, so, yeah, really my, my main thing is just where do I put my towels. Um, so, let's check out the bedroom. It's got a nice little hidden feature that I think a lot of you ladies are going to really like. All right, guys, so I'm in the bedroom area now. Um, first, I want to point out this window to my right. Yes, it is dirty. That's okay. It's your fire escape window. I tell you guys this all the time. If there's a fire, you can jump out this window, but I'm running out the front door. I don't care where the fire is. I'm not jumping out the window. Um, but it, it, if you're not going to jump out the window, it is nice natural light. It's a big plus there. So the bedroom, this is something that I'm not super hot on uh alterations could be made probably to, to put some type of like barn door here but to seal off the bedroom you have the bathroom door you can close into a magnet um if not that it's just a curtain not i don't love that but I, again that's something i could probably get over so you do have two acs on this the front ac is ducted the rear ac here is not ducted it just dumps which is great for whoever's sleeping back here because you can just dump the ac right on you and freeze you out and then you know put a weighted blanket on you and you'll be nice and comfy uh, to my left, we've got hanging space. This is the smaller of all the hanging space in the coach, but a hanging space here for clothes. You've also got some really cool features. Guys, this is like probably my top two things in the bedroom are going to be, I guess your top one. There are two spots for it, but it's really one thing. So there's a pre-drilled hole that's on this side and that side. So you can store your CPAP up here, but you can run it down, plug it here, and then run down the hose down to this way. So it's out of sight, out of mind, or I guess if you wanted to, this might not be big enough, but you could put one maybe right here. Um, but at the front of this bed, you do have a regular cigarette lighter, 12-volt plug, and then two USB plugs as well. On the other side of this, you're going to have, um, so as I mentioned, the overhead cabinets here. You have another hanging space with cabinet. You're going to have, a, I forgot to point this out, but a small drawer here, a bigger drawer there. And this was the hidden feature that you ladies might like. And then also, I mean, I have a lot of clothes too, so I guess not just ladies. But there's huge closet space here. And why is that? It's because the second slide of this motorhome is in the bedroom and it's a sliding closet. Now, we'll show you in a second. The mirror is really dirty, so excuse that. But you can see it's got mirrors on the closet and, like I said, tons of hanging space. There's not a TV in here right now, but if you wanted to add a second TV, there is uh, a spot where you can put it. And you've got the coax to hook up as well as the 120 hook up there. Um, so yeah, on all the bathroom, I mean the bedroom, I really like, oh, and a big thing too, this is a 60 by 80 mattress. This is not a short queen. This is a full size queen. So big plus there. Everyone knows the mattresses that come in RVs typically aren't great. So if you want to put that really nice, um, sleep number bed or, or big, uh, what's the sheep called Sherpa or Serpa or something like that. If you want to put that mattress in here, just get a normal 60 by 80 queen mattress and you can rock and roll. Also means normal sheets. So I like that a lot. Um, yeah. Bedroom's cool. I like the closet space. I like the hand space. So we're going to swing back around the front, guys, and wrap this up. 
All right, guys, so this is the tour of the Coachman Leprechaun 319 MB. I hope that you liked it. If you've got any questions, leave us a comment below. Um, also, if you want to have any info, if you want to get info about the pricing or even the specs of this, like the water tank sizes and stuff like that that I didn't mention because you're not going to remember anyway, um, check the comments down below. We're going to put a link to our website where we'll have all the pictures, all the specs, current pricing, so up-to-date pricing on all of our inventory. So check that out, guys, and we appreciate you stopping by. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.